Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, food poisoning here and I just bought this brand new Porsche. So uh, yeah, even though it's got stickers on it and stuff, I promise it's mine. <laughs> you can trust me. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm in the mall today and I'm not flipping. There's too much security because I've already circled this place a couple of times. So instead, I'm going to talk to you guys and hopefully you stick through and just enjoy the view as you see it through my eyes. But, you know, in 4K at 30 frames a second. Because I'm cheeky like that. But anyway, today I wanted to talk about broken bala songs. Is it broken? A screw fell out. Now it's broken? That's not how it works. So, anyway, a lot of people have this stigma where if a screw falls out or even if a Zen pin cracks in half, or even if, uh, I don't know, let's say a scale um, cracks off or chips off into place, it's not necessarily broken. Now, I'm going to quote Behold a Black Wolf because I love a lot of the things he says, but I was talking to him um, after the podcast, and he mentioned the word retire a bala song. And I thought that that was such a good name for when you... Just like have a bala song that fell apart and you just don't want to waste your time putting it back together. He said you retire it. You retire a bala song. Or just the ones you don't flip anymore if you have more than one. You're retiring that bala song. I think that's a very good name for it. But anyway, when it comes to breaking an actual bala song. Uh, that means that the handle. It basically means that you cannot flip anymore. So if it falls apart, yes, you technically can't flip it anymore, but it still has the possibility to be put back together. So that's the big difference. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it and turn around. So I'll give you guys a good example. My Max Ace uh, knife that I just got from Lamnia, it's got these, um, it's got these little G10 grips on them that looks like very marbly. I don't, I don't know what it actually is, like the material, I gotta look it back up again. But anyway, one of them fell off when I dropped it. And I realized that the way it was put on there was it, would, it was glued. Like it was actually glued on there. So, what do I do? Do I glue it back on? Do I throw it away because it's broken? Or do I just keep flipping it as is? So for me, I'm pretty lazy. I mean, I did look for glue, but you know me, I just, I just kept flipping it as is. Um, but it's not broken. And here's the difference between what people think are broken ballot songs and which ones are actually fixed. But like, the thing is, if you get one from Amazon, right? And then you, it basically, Amazon hardware is always going to be cheaper because the metal is going to be like low grade steel that has no treatment to it at all. There's my uh, my Porsche again. I'm just parking it here for now. I just, they allow me to park in the mall. But anyway, what's it called? So anyway, the steel is low grade if you get it off of Amazon and even some low end balisons from AliExpress. But like that's what the differences are between the higher, um, like the higher prices in balisons and the higher cost companies. Um, the difference is that the steel or or whatever material they're using for the hardware is going to not strip, not crack, and sometimes even the threads are built better to the point where some pivots are actually double-sided and uh, they just stay together longer. But in the in the end of everything, no matter if you're buying the most expensive Bellasong or the least expensive, like for example, even Squid Industries and Glider uh, pre-Loctites, they're knives. But the problem is, if you drop it enough, that Loctite's gonna break. I like using Teflon tape on my pivots because I've noticed that from beating my knives with Teflon tape in them, um, what happens is, even after dropping them, sure, the pivots might become loose and get tap, but they never fall out. And that's the whole point that you want. Sure, you might get tap. Sure, it's not like, you're not Loctiting it in a tuned position. I mean, you can, but it won't last long. The whole premise of my Teflon tape is the fact that it just will not come out. And that's what you want, especially if you're just beating knives every day, like I am. 
But anyway, this is like a little mall walkthrough. I'll show what I was holding anyway. Today, I had this spooky boy with me, but I just didn't want to be flipping it around like that, especially, especially in the mall. But anyway, I'll be seeing you guys later. And uh, yeah, your battle songs aren't broken, unless they're in half, of course. But yeah, peace. <laughs>